Hello, in this class of GSM, we will be discussing about GSM architecture. In the previous class, we had discussed about the evolution of GSM technology. Now, in this session of G GSM, that means Global System for Mobile Communication, which is the very first voice technology under second generation. So, we will discuss how its or architecture is evolved and what are the entities are there in this architecture. So, as GSM architecture, the very first entity which requires is mobile station. Now, next part, which as per the desi desired network ar architecture overview, we require a part and that one is BSS part. Now, this BSS part should be required to be attached with a part that is NSS. And all the BSS and NSS part has been managed by an entity or a unit and that one is NMS which is also known as OSS. So for GSM evolution or architecture evolution we require four basic entities the very first mobile station BSS, NSS and NMS or OSS. Now BSS stands for as MS is mobile station This BSS part, this one is as base, station, subsystem. BSS as base station, subsystem. NSS as network station, subsystem. This one as network, station, subsystem. NMS stands for Network Management System and OSS is Operation Station Subsystem. So, a full complete or a complete GSM architecture required these four, four basic entities. As we require mobility at the user end. So, mobile station. That means this mobile station is a mobile and we can move at a certain distance apart. Which is the main aim of wireless technology. So, this mobile station or a handset will be first part which is required in GSM. Now, this mobile station can communicate with the radio part. So, in the radio part, we have a controller and that part of a radio network that is known as base station subsystem. Now, base station subsystem also comprises of entities. We will discuss later. Now, after that, the core network, that means the manager of the network will be NSS part. And if there are any faults or configuration related problems, we require to contact NMS or OSS part. That means like this, we require to organize our network with number of entities so that my voice communication will be possible. Now, what are the entities in different parts of the GSM architecture? So very first mobile station. This one is a part and so it is BSS part. So BSS comprises of BTS. Now, BTS is controlled by entity which is BSC. So, these are the entities which are there in my BSS part. That means base station subsystem part. I have BTS and BSC attached. Now, this BTS is base trans receiver station 
and this BSC as base station controller. So BTS and BSCs are the unit which are there in my BSS part. Now we require another one that means and this one is my NSS part where NSS is network station subsystem. So in network station subsystem I have a unit and that unit is MSC. That means all BSCs are controlled by mobile switching center which is MSC. Now, MSC has number of databases attached to it. MSC has a part which is known as SMSC. Now, databases as HLR. Then we have VLR, EIR, NUC. We have I N. Other than this, we have further connectivity with PSTN and MSC is attached to GMSC also. So this uh, coming to the full form that what is MSC? So this is mobile switching. Center. MSC stands for Mobile Switching Center. Now comes HLR. So this HLR is Home Location Register. VLR is Visitor Location Register. EAR stands for Equipment Identity Register AUC as Authentication Center. So AUC as Authentication Center. IN stands for Intelligent Network. After that, we have GMSC, where GMSC is Gateway MSC and SMSC. So, SMSC is Short Message Service Center. So, if I focus on the complete NSS part, it comprises of a unit and main unit is mobile switching center. Now with this mobile switching center, I have number of registers and the databases attached. A register is a component that can store value in it. So combination of register that forms my database. So I have home location register, visitor location register. That means these are the databases, those who are storing values in them. Equipment identity register, authentication center, intelligent network and gateway MSS. So these are the units which are there in NSS part. Now we are left with NMS part that what are the units they are in NMS or OSS part. So if this is my unit which is my NSS, I also call it as OSS or OMC. Where OMC is Operation and Maintenance Center. Now this Operation and Maintenance Center is divided into two parts. Which are OMCR that means Operation and Maintenance Center for Radio. And OMCS Operation and Maintenance Center for Switch. Now those who are managing the radio part will be my OMCR. And NSS part is managed by OMC. S. And full this department or this part is known as Operation and Maintenance Center which is used for network management or operation station subsystem units. So this is a complete, okay, we have PSTN also where PSTN is public 
स्विस्ट टेलीफोन पब्लिक स्विस्ट टेलीफोन नेटवर्क सो दिस इज माय पी एस टी एन so this is the complete gsm architecture now with the help of these entities we, we will be able to communicate with users at a distance apart now let's discuss the function of each and every unit in this architecture so i will write up the various full forms so now mobile station that means my cell phone is attached to i require to attach it with bss part so interface that means how my mobile station is connected to the bts so this part the connection between ms and the bts will be air interface will be air interface now with the help of this air interface which is also known as uu interface that means you user to user interface uu interface we are connected to bts now obviously with the help of antennas that are taking receiving my signals and passing those signals to the bts so here comes the base trans receiver station now its name is base trans receiver station that means a unit that can transmit as well as receive will be my trans receiver now it is managing or it is controlling all the calls from the mobile station to the bts and bts is forwarding these calls or units or messages to bsc here bsc is base station controller that means bsc is the controller who is managing all the bts in a particular area so we have a separate controller to control all the bts in the unit mobile station signals are received by bts now bts signals or all bts in a particular area is managed by bsc base station controller now all the signals from number of bscs will be forwarded to msc now this msc is mobile switching center switching that means to to connect a call from one end to another end and switching part is being managed by msc or mobile switching center unit okay this is my msc now this is the heart of the network all the switching functionalities all the authentication all the verification as well as security purposes will be there in the mobile switching part only so that means this is a secret and a confidential part in which i have a msc who is used for locating a persons so this msc has a number of registers attached like first register is hla so hlr has home location register home location register has a functionality that it stores the permanent location of the users so a home location that means here we have permanent database permanent means like whenever we go for a to purchase a sim i require a address proof and according to my location they allocate me a particular cell so cell allocated to me will be my home my whole house number will not be my home the cell allocated to me will be my home and i will be registered in the network that this user equipment with this contact number will be in this location or this cell so this form my permanent location and in sim activation it is storing the location in the hlr database as we have number also defined according to the hlr that under hlr1 we have these numbers so allocate it so that means permanent location or permanent database is will be my hlr home location register and that's why its name is home location register value it can store a value then we have next that means visitor location register 
Now, visitor location register deals with changing locations. Like I have a handover. I usually move from one end to another, from another to another and so on up to. So that means I keep on changing my locations. So changing locations will be saved in VLR or visitor location register. That's why it's name it as visitor location because our locations keep on changing and this register will keep on saving those locations. After that, we have EAR, where EAR as Equipment Identity Register. Now, in EIR database, we have defined three types of list. In EAR, we have defined white list users, gray list, and black list. White list users are the normal users, the, those who are communicating. Gray list users are the service denied users. Like I have blocked the incoming or I have blocked the outgoing. So services denied users will be in gray list and in black list I have a total number of blocked users. That means these particular numbers are blocked by the network. So where we can block the numbers, where we can allow the numbers. So EIR checks my list whether I am available in a white list, gray list or black list and accordingly I will pass through EIR. After that we have an authentication center. Authentication means verification. Now in my sim that means my mobile station I have a subscriber identity module. Now in this subscriber identity mode, module or the sim I have a key stored and the same key that is stored in the same, the same key is stored in the authentication center database. Now when this sim wants to communicate with the network, the authentication center matches the sim or matches the key from the sim. If the key matches, that means user is authenticated and if key does not match, that means user is not authenticated. So this is basically for authentication of the mobile station or the user equipment or users that I, I am matching keys in my database. If key found, then only user can call. Next one, database as IN, where IN as intelligent network. So intelligent network is there in the GSM architecture, which is there for billing section. That means all the bills are generated in the intelligent network part according to their plans of the prepaid connections. For postpaid bills are generated by MSC, but prepaid connections bills are generated by intelligent network. All the value added services, all the prepaid calls will be recorded in this. Now we have gateway MSC. Now gateway MSC, we have number of MSCs in India, let it, uh, let it be 23. So gateway MSC is used whenever we, we require to connect number of MSCs together. For example, in case of international calling, we require to pass through Gateway MSC and that Gateway MSC of India will contact with Gateway MSC of Australia and then only we can communicate. So that means all the MSCs are connected to the Gateway so that we can have international calling also possible. Now, after this, we have SMSC where SMSC stands for Short Message Service Center. My phone has short message service center number defined that means the address of this particular smse now this works on store and forward as it basically deals with short messages that means my smses so store and forward every message will be stored first in its databases then it is forward and after that it will give me a delivery report of the sms so that means this is a functionality of short message service center if I am calling, I require to pass through this. And if I am doing SMSs, then I require to pass through short message service center number. Now, these are the main databases in NSS part. Now move to the NMS part, which is operation and maintenance center. Now operation and maintenance center has a functionality of alarm monitoring, configuration management, performance management. That means it requires to find out all the alarms in the network. 
to find out configurations and check the performances of the sites. So we have divided this unit into two OMCR Operation and Maintenance Center for Radio and OMCS Operation and Maintenance Center for Switch. I have a radio part so it will manage all the alarms related to this unit which manages my radio part OMC R that means my BTS part and all the switching part that means MSC and BSC will be controlled by OMCS Operation and Maintenance Center for Switch. Now why we have shown connectivity with the PSTN network like MSC connectivity with the PSTN because PSTN is public switch telephone network or I can say that these are my landlines connectivity. So we require to communicate with landline phone also from mobile station we require to possible call from mobile station to landlines and call from landlines to mobile station. So we require to connect my MSC with the PSTN network or the landline connectivity or landline network. That's why we have connected my MSC with the PSTN network so that call will be possible. Now if this mobile station wants to contact this mobile station then also it required to pass through MSC because all database or all information is there in MSC part. So this is a brief introduction of GSM architecture. We will continue in our next class. Thank you so much.